Hello and welcome to another Eureka video. Um, I tend to try and do the kind of monthly releases spotlight video where I'll show you what's coming out this month, the new releases, um, but for August of 2023 I thought I'd do some specific spotlight videos and the first one here is the new Masters of Cinema set which has been a long time, <laughs> long time coming, it's been delayed twice I think and uh, the reason was there was um, an issue with the color grading on one of the transfers of these films, The Devil, I believe. And so Eureka went and they they fixed that, um, got that kind of handled. Um, but then they pushed it back again, and I think it went from a two-disc set to a three-disc set to a four-disc set. So now we have the ultimate version of this release. I'm really glad that they decided to push it back to give it that time to make it the best release it possibly could be. And it is spy number 274, 75, and 76 in the Masters of Cinema collection. And it is Andrei Zuavsky, three films. So we have The Third Part of the Night, The Devil on the Silver Globe, and also included is a feature length um, documentary which is uh, about the making of On the Silver Globe. So these films were released in 1971, 1972, and 1988, respectively. And again, as mentioned, this is a four-disc set. And we have a, a nice booklet there. And I'm going to get into all that stuff uh, in kind of an unboxing view in just a second. But at a glance, this looks really nice. And for me... I'm super excited to get into these films because I've never heard of Andrei Zuavsky before and people seem to feel quite highly about these films or at least some of the films included on this set and Polish cinema to me is like, you know, it's like a barren landscape. I've, I've barely, I, I have nothing to fill in that landscape with other than Krzysztof Kislavski and uh, Pavel Pavlikowski who just, you know, two films I've seen of his and they're to me, I would say two of the best films I've ever seen, two of the best films of the 2010s, which are Ida from 2014, I believe, and Cold War from 2018. And then Krzysztof Koslowski was like, you know, you have the Three Colors trilogy, which are amazing and incredible, The Double Life of Veronique, which I think is a, a fascinating film. I haven't got into the Decalogue yet, but those are my only two kind of entry points. So it's very slim pickings and just a name like this and some of these films to get into to me is very exciting is one of the things I love about the MOC collection is finding discovering and watching films I've never seen before that I've never heard of before and it's a whole new journey a whole new adventure but let's get into kind of a, an unboxing style view of this and we'll go through everything included and I'll show you a closer look at this release okay so here it is the Masters of Cinema series Andrei Zuavsky, The Third Part of the Night to the Devil, and On the Silver Globe. This is a really nice hard box uh, release. Um, I, you know, people have kind of complained about the artwork. I like it. I like when they put the director on there, the kind of classic, looking through the lens of the camera. You know, I, I, I kind of dig it. But it has been, there has been some uh, some criticisms of the the artwork, but I'm not too uh, I'm not too uh, <laughs> torn up about it. Um, so an uncompromising visionary and a true maverick of European cinema. The Massive Cinema series is proud to present three films by Andrei Zuavsky, all making their UK debuts on Blu-ray from new 4K restorations. So we have all three films presented in 1080p on Blu-ray from definitive 4K restorations, original mono audio tracks, um, English subtitles for all films, optional of course, uh, with translations approved by the director before his death in 2016. I think that's a really important distinction, not something you hardly ever see um, listed on a Blu-ray, but I think that's a really cool um, factoid that the English translation was approved by the director himself. Uh, we have Escape to the Silver Globe, which is a 2021 um, documentary, uh, an acclaimed documentary apparently, uh, on the production history of On the Silver Globe. We have Michael Brook on The Third Part of the Night and The Devil, two brand new interviews with the film historian himself. Uh, Lukas Zuavsky on The Devil, a brand new interview with, I'm assuming, the son of the director. And a new audio commentary on, on The Silver Globe by Daniel Bird. Uh, Adam Zuavsky 
on Jetsy Zawaski. I don't know what that pertains to. I guess I'll find out in due course. That's also a brand new interview. Return to the Silver Globe, uh, 2019 footage of cinematographer Andrzej Jaroswicz yeah, revisiting the, the Polish salt mine used as a filming location for On the Silver Globe. Apologies for the butchering of the pronunciation there. I do try. I like to try. <laughs> this, the cinematography of On the Silver Globe, a new documentary by Daniel Bird. Lunar Futurism, a new documentary by Daniel Bird also, and then the booklet, which is a 60-page collector's book. Um, yeah, so four Blu-rays, 1971, 1972, and 1988. So this is like a, 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 a say a flimsy, it's just a, a piece of paper, a J card here. We'll take the, uh, the cellophane off the top. Uh, as usual with Eureka, they tend to leave the, the backs of their hard box releases um, blank. Which, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I, I think they could do more with that, but they tend to not do that. So that comes off fairly nicely. And you have the backing paper there. Uh, I, I wish it was just printed on the back in that case, you know what I mean? I, you just just put on the uh, all the information. But uh, yeah, when this did come in the mail, I thought that this was like uh, like discoloration or something. Or like something had leaked. Like, But, you know, so it's kind of the, the, the image from the front bleeding over to the spine, um, which, yeah, it's kind of nice, um, but, uh, yeah, so that's the front of the box. I do love a nice hard box edition. Let's take out the, the insides, put that there. So we have, uh, the booklet, very interesting image there on the front. And again, for me, this is like Really exciting stuff to go into such uncharted territory and to really dive into a filmmaker who I, I know nothing about. So we have the cast lists for the films, and we're along with an image for each. That's a very uh, interesting and striking image. And then we have a contents page. So there's a couple of different essays there, and uh, viewing notes, and... Uh, yeah, so lots to dig into, obviously, and uh, a very nice quality feeling book too. It feels like a really, really substantial uh, piece. So I'm very, uh, very excited to dig into all of this stuff and uh, and get kind of a, a broader feel for this guy. These are the footnotes, Jesus Christ. So <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot in this. It's, uh, oh, there's even more footnotes. Yeah, so... This looks not insubstantial. Is insubstantial even a word? Unsubstantial? This looks substantial, I should just say that. <laughs> but it doesn't look like they've skimped on this book. Uh, yeah, man, this... This looks really cool. Yeah. So... A letter to the Ministry of Culture. Anyway, so there we go. That's the, the very nice looking booklet. So first here we have uh, spy number 274275, the third part of the night and the devil along with the um, Polish titles which I definitely will not try to attempt. And then on the back we have the, the summary of the, the extras and uh, oh that's a shame, I got a torn, uh, torn inlay there, it's kind of bent in against the uh, the inside of the case, but uh, we'll have a look here. We got the two discs for each. We have the devil, and we have the third part of the night, and an inner image there, presumably from one of the films. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's it's torn here, which is a shame, but it's certainly something I can live with. Um, but that's the that's the back there. All I really know about these films is a, a very brief kind of um, summary of the plot. So the third part of the night, I believe, is about a man whose entire family is lost to the Holocaust, and then he encounters um, a woman who looks exactly like his late wife and descends into madness from there. And then the devil, um, I've seen described as <laughs> satanic seduction and a film that was banned for many years. So that's... Uh... Yeah, there's definitely two very intriguing... I think I talked about that when, I, when this set was first released, that there's two very striking stories, for sure. Um, on the surface, I'm very intrigued to see how they feel 
uh, when I watched him, the third part of the night, I believe, is also Zorowski's first film. And here we have Spy Number 276 on the Silver Globe. So this film is about a group of astronauts who land on a desolate planet and decide to start their own society there. That's all I know. I love the premise. I believe that this was mostly shot and then um, ordered to be shut down. And uh, and so that surely, very, very surely there is a complicated production history around it. It was released, I believe, many years after it was filmed. Uh, it says here on the back, yeah, the Polish government ordered the production to be shut down and all the negatives destroyed, but the original film reels were preserved, and ten years later the film was presented, presented at the Cannes Film Festival to great acclaim. So uh, that's, I'm assuming, where like the documentary on the making of the film kind of comes into play. So on the inside here we have uh, that really cool image from the booklet, the movie itself, on the Silver Globe. And then the second disc here is the documentary, Escape to the Silver Globe. So we went from a two disc set to a four disc set, uh, one for every film and even one for the documentary itself. So I am dying to dive into this set. I'm really excited to begin a, a new chapter on my film journey and to dive into more Polish cinema. I mean, it's certainly not in, in abundance, but... Um, you know, it's just a realm that I've just never really uh, dived into that much or even heard all that much about, you know. Um, certainly not the forefront of European cinema, world cinema that's talked about a lot. And uh, at least for me, you know, everyone's experiences are different. But uh, it's it's exciting to really step into something that feels like, for me, uncharted territory. And I just really love that Eureka is still putting out releases like this. They get, they get a lot of shit these days for, oh, they do too many Hong Kong movies, and then you get something like this that just feels so um, surprising and exciting. So I, I can't wait to dive into this entire release, all three films, the documentary, the booklet, the new features, and all that sort of, sorts of stuff. I'll leave that in for free. Um, and uh, and yeah, and apologies for the my, my hand. It's, I've got some eczema flare-ups. Not exactly the nicest thing to look at during an unboxing, I apologize. But it is what it is, and uh, anyway, let me know what you think about this set. If you've seen the films, if you're buying this set, any of your thoughts on the films as you work your way through them, I'd love to hear people's experiences going through, you know, against kind of niche stuff, you know, I would say for the, <laughs> the majority of movie-watching people out there. Um, but this is the kind of thing that I really thrive on, really get excited about, and uh, can't wait to dive into once again. So that is the Andre Zuavsky box set. I will uh, put it all back together and uh, and look forward to cracking it open at a very near point in the future. And of course, I will be bringing you some reviews on this set. I don't know in what format I will decide to do that um, at the moment, but I definitely will be bringing you, um, as I have done um, for a while now, um, fairly in-depth reviews of Eureka's new releases. So. There it is, all nice and slug, nice and slug, nice and snug. I'll leave that one in for free as well. The Andre Zuavsky box set. I don't even know how many films he made. If if this is all the films he made, if one was shut down and the negatives almost destroyed, I really don't know. But uh, we'll see. And perhaps I'll become a fan and search out his other films. I think. He definitely has made more films because the way I I learned how to pronounce his name, which again, I'm, I'm trying, it might not be correct, was from an audio commentary I found on YouTube for another film he directed, and he said, hi, I'm Andre uh, Zuavsky. So, pretty sure that's how, how, you, how you say it. If it isn't, oh well, at least I gave it a college try. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.